All right, let's take a look at the very first module that you need to be concerned with, and that's going to be the piano module. We'll talk about the organ module in just a little bit. We're going to skip that for right now. We're going to go ahead and jump into the piano module. And as you can see right here, this is the piano module. It's not too big. The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the on-off button is lit up, and now you've got all these lights. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your level right here, as you can see, the level's all the way to the left. You want to turn that all the way to the right and max that out. Make sure your volume level, your master volume is maxed out. And kind of as a rule of thumb, always max that out. The worst thing that you can do as a keyboard player is kind of have your master volume turned to three quarter and you're playing and if you find that you can't hear yourself then you end up turning that master volume up. You don't want to do that. You want to max out that master volume, max out your piano volume here and allow your mixing engineer to control that and then get your mix set in your AVM right that needs to be for you. Now we'll talk about a couple of these uh, different parameters here on the piano. Now first of all you have your kind of piano select down here. This is going to select the different kinds of pianos and as you can see we have grand pianos that sound like this we have uprights you can kind of hear that's a little thinner sounding we have electric pianos we have another electric piano and this is actually a whirly And finally, that takes us back to our grand pianos. In the grand pianos, um, all of the Nords at the CF campuses basically have two different kinds of, um, of grand pianos. You've got like a really bright one, and then you've got one that's a little bit more dark. And as you can see here, you have a model. So up under grand, as long as um, the grand is selected, you can hit the, um, the model number here, and as you can see, it cycles through one and two. And so number one is going to be the Bosendorfer, and it sounds like this. So you can see that's got a nice bright sound and that really is the kind of piano that you want to use for a lot of the pop kind of sounds that really have a lot of attack to it and you want that piano to cut through. If you want to use something that's a little bit more mellow sounding, you can switch over to the second model and that's going to be the Steinway. So if we change the number two, you can see, see it says Grand Lady D and it sounds like this. Here was the first. Hear how bright that is compared to a little less bright. So that's the grand pianos, and that's really what you're going to use a lot of the time. Now, if you wanted to, you can change up to the uprights, and they sound like this. As you can see, it's not as big sounding. You can hear that second one right there. It has a little bit more of a twang to it. It sounds a little bit more like a, uh, a wing upright sort of thing. It's got some nice attack to it. And <clears throat> this particular kind of upright would sound really good with a lot of reverb and a little bit more effects applied to it. Now we've got about three different kinds of EPs in this keyboard. And the first one is just going to be a nice like uh, Fender Rhodes um, Mark I kind of sound. And, and it sounds like this. So there you can hear it's just got that nice kind of Fender Road sound. Uh, the next one is going to have a little bit more um, just high end to it. This one has, is called Sparkle, uh, Sparkle Top and it sounds like this.
So you can hear that's got a little bit more of attack to it. You can kind of hear the tines of the uh, of that EP a little bit more. And then the third one is going to be our Whirly. Now, when I use an EP, I you know usually use a Whirly. I'll add some tremolo to it, maybe some uh, some drive as well as some reverb, and it kind of sounds like this by itself. <coughs> So it's a little bit different sound. I, I kind of tend to like that one a little bit better than the other ones that are in here. And again, I'll add some more effects, some drive, tremolo, that sort of thing, just to really help fill it out. And so those are our main um, pianos for this. Now, as far as the other settings are concerned, you've got an octave shift. So I'll change back to the piano. And so here's our C major chord. Hit the octave. You see it shifts it up. You're really not going to use that very much on the piano, um, mainly because you want to be right where you need to be. Now, you'll use that sometimes on the synth. You might want it shifted up or down an octave and that sort of thing. Now, in addition to that, you can also choose kind of what keyboard um, zone that you want this to sound through. You'll find that a little bit more in the synth section, but you can either do um, the low end, the upper end, or, or kind of the entire range. You've got low, up, and high. And so the way that you access that is by your on off, and if you tap it twice really fast, you can see it switches to just low. So that'd be here. As you can see, it stops right there on that B. If you tap it again, it's on up high. So it starts on the C, and it goes high. Tap it again, and it's all of them. So again, you got low, up and high, and then all of them. And again, the way you do that is just to tap it really quick to bring it back on, off, on, off, on. So you want to make sure that all three of these are on and lit. Make sure your level is all the way up. And you don't want to have your octave shift on. And the way you can tell that is by playing. And you can see right here on our display when we hit it, it goes to zero, plus one, zero, negative one. All of these other settings uh, you're really not going to mess with. These are your acoustics if you want a long release time or if you want your string resonance. You can see when I play that, it's a real short, short cutoff. A little longer. A little bit more natural sounding. And that's our piano. So again, the main thing that you want to remember, and this really covers all of the other modules as well, is that you have your on-off button. That on-off button has to be on if you want it to sound out. Make sure your level is turned all the way up, especially on your piano. And then you can choose between the different grands, the EPs. Usually, I'm either using one, uh, one of the two different grand pianos, and I use that Wurlitzer a lot, if I need kind of that EP sound. I'll use an EP like on uh, a live by Hillsong Young and Free, those sorts of sound. We'll, add, we'll talk about adding drive and effects and that sort of thing to it. But that's going to be your main sound source right there is your piano. You'll add in some synths. You might do organ every now and then, but you want to make sure that you know how to use that piano module. Now that we've talked about the piano module, let's move over to the synth module.